Hey guys, this is Rubik's Cube 88 here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to solve the 4x4 Rubik's Cube. So the first step of solving the 4x4 Rubik's Cube, and in this video, we're just going to go over the centers. So the first step in solving the 4x4 Rubik's Cube is solving these centers, and the centers contain of four pieces, unlike the 3x3, which only has one center piece. And on the 4x4, when solving the first step, the centers, it does not matter what side you make the white side when you start off. It doesn't matter which side you start on. Because there are, when scrambled, there are no really centers solved on the 4x4. And like on the 3x3, there's always one center solved. So, first, notation. Once again, this is U, D, L, R, F, and B. And also on the 4x4, we're going to be doing turns called slice moves. Uh, also, um, when during the yellow cross parity, um, lowercase r, which looks like this, a lowercase r, is this, is to turn this inner right slice up one time. So this is the lowercase r, this is lowercase l. Um, the lowercase f moves, which will not be used, is the front two layers, so these two layers. And um, also, there is going to be like l w, which is l wide, which is this, which is take the two right, two left layers and turn them clockwise. There's r wide, turn the two right layers clockwise at once. So, um. If you're watching this video on how to solve the 4x4 Rubik's Cube, I make, sh um, make sure that you know how to solve the 3x3 because with the 4x4, it turns into a 3x3 solve halfway through solving with some speed bumps called parodies at the end, which will go over in future videos. So in this video, I'm going to be making some comparisons on the 4x4 exactly like on the 3x3, but with the centers. So let's get started on solving the centers of the 4x4 Rubik's Cube. First, let's scramble the cube. Okay, so now that you have scrambled your 4x4, let's get right into solving it. So the first step, once again, is to solve these four center pieces. So once again, like I said on the 4x4, the centers are four, and you actually have to make the centers on the 4x4. Unlike on the 3x3, there's already one center on every side. And that one center determines its side's color. So it doesn't matter which side we make the white side. So I just like to start the side that's closest to completion. So here is one. We have two white and these two just need to be two. So all we need to do is have the white side that we're facing on top. And we are um, going to start with a white center. So we're just going to find a white center piece. So a white that's in these four middle. So here's one right here. So all we can do is we can just rotate this up. We can rotate this out of the way and then back down. So now we have the two together. Now we can turn it so it's in the top left. So we have two here. And here's another one. So if we have the two on top and there's one right here, have it so the bar on top is in the left and the one in the left too. So when we rotate it up, out of the way, back down. Now our goal is to get a little hook in L, like on this three by three. So now we're gonna find our last white center piece. Turn the cube, and here it is. So in order to get this piece up to here, we're going to have the, this L facing the top left, just like this. And then our last white center piece on the top left as well. So this last white center piece has to be up here. And this hook has to be facing this way. So when we bring these up, so once again we have these here, and when we get this up to here, that has to be like this, and this has to be up here. So we rotate this side up, they're connected, then rotate it out of the way, and bring it back down. And now we have completed our first white center. Okay, so now that you have solved your first white center, we're going to flip over the cube and we're going to solve the opposite center. So with the white center on the bottom, and we're going to solve the yellow because we know that white is opposite of yellow. 
So, with the Y on the bottom, we're going to solve the yellow center. So, as we can see, we already have two here. So, once again, we're going to have these two in the top left. And this here is another white, yellow center piece. And we're going to have that face in the top left. So, rotate it up, out of the way, and back down. Now, we have our little hook that we have to get. And we're going to find our last white center piece. So, here it is. So, once again, we're going to have our hook facing just like this. And this piece needs to go up here, so we just turn the front face. So this is up here in the top left, and this is facing like this. So we rotate it up, out of the way, and bring it back down. We have completed our white and our yellow center. Now we're going to solve the blue center. So now we're going to have the white facing the left and the yellow facing the right. Now we're going to solve our blue center. So here is a one blue centerpiece, so we're going to have the blue side facing top with the white on the left and the yellow on the right, and we're going to find another blue centerpiece. So here's one right here. We'll get it into the top left position. Also with this is in the top left. Rotate it up, out of the way, bring it back down. We don't want this because these are diagonal, so we're going to rotate it so it goes to a way where they're together. Then we have the bar once again on the left, and we're going to find our last two. So here's one. So if you have the blue on the side that you're solving on top and one on the very bottom, you're just going to rotate that side up. You're going to turn the face out of the way, and then bring it back down. So we keep this, and we have this one in the top left and the bar in the top left. So we rotate it up, out of the way, and back down. Now, once again, we have our hook that we need to get, and we'll find our last blue center. It's right here. Once again, we're going to have the blue hook on facing just like this, and then this needs to be also in the top left. So when we rotate it up, out of the way, and back down, we have completed our blue center. So we have completed our white center. The episode of white is yellow. And then we have completed our blue center. Now, with the yellow on top and the blue facing us, the color that needs to be here, so as we can see, the yellow on top and the blue facing us on the 3x3, three three, red is on this side. So now we know that we have to solve the red side. So this is going to be the red side. So with the yellow on top and the blue facing off, this is going to be the red side. So the next area that we have to solve is the red side. So we're going to have the red side on top, and here we already have one red centerpiece up already in place, and that's in the top left. And here's another white centerpiece. We got this in the top left. So this is here and this is here. So we're in the same row. Rotate it up, out of the way twice, back down so they're together. So we have a bar once again on the left. Find another red center. Oh, they're both down here. So all we have to do, uh, rotate this one, this red center up, out of the way twice, back down. And we have a bar on the top left and this needs to go here. So we just rotate it like this. So we have our bar here and the red piece facing us, the red center, up, out of the way, back down. Now we have our red hook and our last red center piece is here, so we rotate it up, out of the way, back down. And our hook is in the top left and our last yellow, <coughs> excuse me, center is in the top left. So we go up, out of the way, and back down. Now we have our red. So once again with the 3x3 three three, with the yellow on top and the blue facing us, the red is on the right. And on here, with the yellow on top and the blue facing us, and the red's on the right, so now we have done that correctly. The color scheme is important on this, or else it will not solve correctly while solving like a 3x3. Three three. Now, with the yellow on top and the blue facing us, the orange is on this side. So this face needs to be the orange. So the orange is going to be on the top. So we already have our orange hook up here. We're going to have it facing up like this, and our last one is already actually in place, so that's good. So we just rotate it up out of the way and bring it down and it will solve this center automatically too. So with that, we have solved all of these centers. So yes, the centers have four pieces on the on the um four by four but on three by three it only has one. So once again, first you solve your white center, then you do the opposite, yellow, then you solve the blue, and then once again with the white with the yellow on top and the blue facing you, the red is gonna be on the right, so you solve the red on the right and the orange on the left, and then the green on the bottom. So yes, you have hopefully with this tutorial, you have completed your centers on your 4x4 Rubik's Cube.
so yes that guys thank you for watching this is uh rubik's cube 88 uh just giving you how to solve the centers in the next video i will be doing edge pairing on the 4x4 rubik's cube all right thanks for watching bye bye